This problem here is actually not from your textbook. I couldn't find anything in your textbook that quite shows us one thing I want to show, so I just made one up. We have Mario riding an elevator, so he's in a box that's an elevator, and we have Mario with the big nose and mustache, and nice big tummy as you always have. Oh, and the hat, yes. There's Mario in an elevator. The elevator is initially going up, but it slows down and rest over one second. So this again is, we can use kinematics to find my acceleration. But the question is, what force does the floor of the elevator push us on Mario? We know some information here. Uh, let's call positive upwards again. We have V0, the original velocity, we do two meters per second, but you slow down to rest over some time, but one second. And so the acceleration could be simply We've done this many a times. Zero minus two meters per second divided by one second, giving us negative two meters per second squared, which makes sense because we are accelerating downwards to slow down, right? Where we're going up to slow down, we have to accelerate downwards. Free body diagram. Mario is touching one thing and it's on Earth, so he has mg and he has this fn, which is whatever the floor is pushing against him again this normal means 90 degrees 9 degrees to the floor so here we can do some of forces in the vertical direction we have positive fn minus mg is equal to my ma a being my negative 2 meters per second square so fn here is ma plus mg and we can factor out the m now once we sub in the numbers Remembering that A here is negative because it's downwards. G here is the magnitudes. We already account for the fact that it's downwards with this negative sign here. But you get your Fn here. That's a little smaller than your Fg because you're slowing down. Now why did I care about this particular question so much? Let's go back to the drawing. Because inside the elevator, Mario can't see anything moving. He's moving with the elevator. But if you put like a little bathroom scale underneath Mario, in order for him to stand still, whatever force the floor pushes on him, that kind of feels like his weight. In fact, we call this Fn, usually in these cases, we call that the apparent weight. It's the weight that seems to be. Of course, it's not his true weight because he's moving weights you normally take when you're not moving. But that explains why when you ride an elevator, try and notice next time, as it slows down, your stomach feels like it's floating up a little bit. You feel a little lighter. And that's because of this exact calculation that we just did, how this is smaller than your regular MG. If you're dedicated enough, you can't even take a bathroom scale in the elevator and try it for yourself. So here is a physicist diet plan to lose weight. It's really easy. All you have to do is to stand in an elevator that is accelerating downwards and you will lose weight. The number on your bathroom scale will go down. But of course, really, everyone talks about losing weight, losing weight, losing weight. But what they really mean is they want to lose mass. They want to lose stuff. So I guess it's not really as easy as standing inside an elevator.